Yo, I just want to let you know, today we're gonna let it flow. Hello everyone, thank you guys so much for watching today, and today I'm doing something a little bit different. Today I'm gonna teach you guys how to be like Drake. Now Drake is probably the most prominent prap star in the entire world. In fact, he's probably one of the first originators of prap. You don't know what prap is. <sighs> Prap is a combination of pop and rap. What are you, living under a rock? Drake takes the basic fundamentals of rap and just inserts catchy, repetitive lines like pop music and BAM! You've got a prop hit. Prap, sh But that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be writing a prap hit together, just like Drake. Let's make some prap. Let's make some prap. After eating Taco Bell, you take a diarrhea crap. <laughs> I don't freaking know. Now, I just want to clarify that this in no way represents how I feel about Drake as a rapper. Because today we're focusing on Drake's prappy side. So back off! Oh, sorry. So to be like Drake, all you have to remember is the triple A method. Auto-tune. Yeah. Awkward dancing. And a puffy coat. What are those? It's hard to be like Drake in these clothes. Do I have a puffy jacket? No one knows. Yeah, no, this this is about the baggiest article of clothing I've ever worn. <laughs> and I've dressed like Billie Eilish, so... And I even got myself a hat because there's no freaking way I'm cutting my hair short like Drake's. He looks good like that, but if I had short hair like that, I would look like I work at Microsoft. So, I got myself a hat. We'll save that for later. That can be for our music video. Now look at this picture of Drake. Look at his hair, look at his beard. You need to be well manscaped to be a prap star. In fact, Manscaped are the sponsors for today's video. I thought it was quite appropriate. They are the best in men's below the belt grooming. If you'll excuse me. In fact, they created the best ball hair trimmer ever. It's the new and improved Lawnmower 3.0 with cutting edge ceramic blades to prevent Ball necks. And it's got advanced skin safe technology for those, you know, softer areas. Well, hello there. Where have you been hiding out? And it even has a USB charging stand. And then the battery lasts 90 minutes, so you can shave as many of your balls as you want. And it's even got a freaking light for when you're deep in the dark abyss. So follow the link in my description and use promo code DVT20 and you will get 20% off with free shipping. And you'll also get a replacement blade for your lawnmower once every three months delivered right to your door. Gotta keep it fresh and clean. <laughs> And for a limited time, subscribers get not one, but two free gifts. That's one free gift per ball. The Shed Travel Bag, and the patented high-performance anti-chafing Manscaped Boxer Briefs. So do it up, your balls will thank you. Thank you. Oh, you are quite welcome. Wait, what the f***? Nah, but I know what you guys want to do. You guys want to write a prap song together. Just like Drakey Malfoy. I hope you're not sick of me. Messed your psychology. But I still love technology, always and forever. Now every prap song has three essential elements. A repeating instrumental melody. Three. Boom, 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 boom. So keep that in mind when you're writing your prap hit. So I got my little kiki niki, my little doop doop doop. I don't even know. My keyboard setting is called 80 sequence. Yeah, that's the one. All right, so how is this for a sequence? <laughs> right? If you're a rapper, admit you would love to spit over that. All right, so there's our repetitive riff. All right, so now we're gonna take what we just recorded and we're going to copy it. And we are going to paste it a lot. <laughs> okay, so what you need to understand here is this is prep, so it's the same thing over and over again. This doesn't make us look like good songwriters, but rappers have a way around that. So I'm gonna take the chorus section and transpose it up one octave. There we go. This gives the illusion of good songwriting. So now we get this. <laughs> Yeah. 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 
<laughs> see, like, uh, yeah, we're good songwriters. You see, we changed the chorus. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. It's the same freaking thing, just up one octave. Do we all know what an octave is? <sighs> Let's say I were to sing, uh, that exact note one octave higher would be, <laughs> do we understand? Good, so do my neighbors now. Sorry. Now on to the second essential element. Maybe this will help demonstrate. So now comes in the boring stuff. Now I'm gonna program drummy doodles. All right, every single one of these little blippages is going to be a, a hi-hat, if you will. Getting kind of bored here, sitting, programming drums. <laughs> a little couple of quickie quickies, like a quick, like lawn sprinkler. I want a 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 lawn sprinkler. But let's be honest, what is a without a So there'll be a right there. Okay, and we should have something that sounds like this. But it sounds kind of empty, doesn't it? That's because we're missing our third and final essential element. You know how when you're sitting in your living room watching TV and then that kid with the souped up Volkswagen drives by and all you hear is boom. That's what we need here, the boom, boom, boom. It's the boom, boom. That really gives your song the pump. You can't have the pump without the boom, boom. Can't get the pump without the boom, boom. Can't get the pump without the boom, boom. Can't get the pump without the boom, boom. Okay, so we want boom, boom, boom. Gotta be really sub bassy, really uh, sub bassy. The kind of bass that just makes your speakers go. <laughs> now we should have something that starts to resemble a prep song. does kind of sound like a monkey. <laughs> Why don't you listen to me? You should subscribe to Stevie T. So he can pass the two mil E. For real, please do subscribe and share the word and then I will kick this water bottle. And I appreciate you and love you so much for doing so. Vocal time! All right, so let's see what we can come up with here. Let's spit some rhymes. I know, rap terms. Yeah. Some rappers do that, rhymes will spit. Why is Stevie always talking about his nips? What bitch, I didn't mumble, read my lips. Battleship is made with little ships. I, I don't freaking know. I'm such a good rapper. Okay. Got a car out back, gonna roll with. Run a 20 on the dash, gonna roll with. Got a six pound cat, gonna roll with. Okay, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up! I kinda like that. Gonna roll with. Now, sometimes in prep, you're gonna put less emphasis on certain words to get full prappy effect. So you'll take a word and you'll cut off the last few letters and replace it with an H. So water would become wa. And gonna roll with it would become go roll with. Here's an example in one of Drake's songs. Now I'm changing the melody and the lyrics slightly so that I don't get copyright claimed. Began from down there, now I'm here. Began from down there, now my whole group of friends is here. So we use that inspiration in our own song. Got a six pound cat, go roll with. One twenty on the dash, go roll with. Got my backwards cap, go roll with. Go roll with, go roll with, go roll with. <laughs> go roll with. I'm really hot in this jacket. Gonna lay it down flat, don't do me like that. Go roll with, go roll with, yeah. Repetition is the key. So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna say go roll with it like a lot throughout the song. Go roll with, go roll with. It's like a frickin' broken record, broken record, broken record, broken record, broken record, broken record, broken record. 
Now I think all we're missing from this now is our last A. Awkward dance moves. What do you think? We got the hoochie scooch. We got the social distance. We got the plakinky. Then again, we can roll with. Yeah, we can roll with. Now listen, I'm not a professional engineer, so I do have a friend that is gonna help me produce our prap song, and he is the producer engineer for Walk Off the Earth. Everyone meet Tokyo. This is terrible. <laughs> First off, if it's gonna be Drake, it's gonna be auto-tuned. So let's just drop some auto-tune on this That guy. is correct. <laughs> That's getting a little better. That's Drake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now we're talking. This is I love it. This is a jive. Tokyo gave me that boom boom. It's gotta be boomy. Boom, boom. We need the boom, boom. We need the boom, boom. You got the room, room. I want the boom, boom. Oh, yeah. That's the lawn sprinkler right there. I need the lawn sprinkler. I need the lawn sprinkler. Yeah. Sitting here with Tokyo. We'll make the rhythm flow. That's all I got. That's all I got. That's all I got. Yeah. Yeah. Cut. Got a six pound cat, gon' roll with. One twenty on the dash, gon' roll with. Got my backwards cap, gon' roll with. Gon' roll with. Gon' roll with. Ten bricks on a chain, gon' roll. Lamborghini out back, gon' roll with Zero sixty down flat, gon' roll with 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 Let me lay it down flat, don't do me like that Gon' roll with Gon' roll with Yeah, it away, it's got shack, gon' roll with Hi hack, gon' roll with Give me that boom boom like that, gon' roll with, gon' roll with, gon' roll with. Stacks in the back, roll with, bubbly on tap, roll with, Brody's in check, roll with. Going to roll with it, go roll with, gon' roll with, gon' roll with. Let me lay it down flat, don't do me like that, go roll I gotta tell you, it was way funner than I thought it would be writing a prap song. Drake, you get my awkward Canadian hand wave of approval. And you guys have a mission to be the ones that bring me to 2 million subscribers! Oh! Thank you guys so much for subscribing and spreading the word. I can't tell you how much it means to me. And I will see you in the next video. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>